Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Brad Sapod Help, and today I got an application review for you on how to stream music from any iDevice to your Xbox 360, PS3, or Windows Media Player. So this application will set you back about four bucks and it is from the Apple App Store and what it essentially does is as I already said it allows you to stream music from your iDevice that works for any and all iDevices iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad and um, it'll stream over Wi-Fi to your Xbox 360, PS3 or Windows Media Player and for Windows Media Player, I believe it is Windows Media P Player 11, and you need a Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer. So um, I'm just going to be demonstrating the Xbox way of streaming. So I got the application right here. So that's what it looks like. Just go into this, and uh, it will scan your library every time you open your application, the application rather, and um, I have about 2,300 songs and it takes just under a uh, minute and you can see it's almost halfway so yeah, um, I'll come back as soon as it's done scanning so I do not bore you. So here we go guys, it is now finished scanning and this is what uh, shows up as soon as it finishes and it just gives you a brief description of what air music is and you have to toggle to switch that on but before I do that I'll just be showing you some settings so the buttons right up here and um, you can have auto start which I have off for this demonstration um, high quality streams and if you have a slow home network speed you can turn that off and the quality of the music will actually be a little lower but I have it set to high since I have a great uh, home network speed. Uh, clear cache that just um, deletes all the uh, previously connected devices um, about air music, write review and send feedback that's all that's below and the version I have is 1.1 so if you're viewing this later there may be an update and uh, that's why it might be a little different so that's basically just settings that's all it is and uh, now let's toggle on the server so now it'll search for connections and all you need to do now is just go to your Xbox and go to your music section which is what I'm gonna do right now so let's do it so as I said, just go to the music section, so right over here. Um, if you're on an Xbox, PS3, I believe you just go to the music menu. Um, Windows Media Player, don't get me wrong, but I think it's under Streams or Home Network Library, something like that. Uh, it's not too hard to find. I did it before. It's, it's right there. And um, I'll be showing you what you should see. So go into this. And where the green little column thing is, you can see Air Music and then Brett's iPod. That's what you're going to be seeing on the PS3 and the Windows Media Player. So that's what you're to be looking for. And all you need to do now is just enter into it. And you can see albums, artists, safe playlists, songs, and genres. So I'll be doing a playlist. And let's choose eh, some Akon. So he's pretty cool. And um, let's just test out how long it takes to buffer. It literally takes like under a second or two seconds. It really doesn't take that long at all. So play safe playlist. Hopefully you can hear that. Turn a little neutral. But you can see it right there. It is streaming from my device right here. And uh, to prove that it actually is, I'll just switch it, the server off. And there you go, it stops playing in the background. So turn back on again, and then enter back, oops, wrong button. Enter back into air music, and there you go, Xbox 360, too bad it doesn't focus, but you should kind of be able to see it right there. Xbox 360 is connected to it. <coughs> and let's do some more buffer, oops, buffering tests. Play safe playlist. Next song. So it really doesn't take that long. Again, if you can't hear this, I'm sorry, but you can sort of see the little ticker going 
right there. But before I get copyright, that's basically how long it takes to buffer. It literally doesn't take that long at all. But again, it does depend on your network connection speed. Uh, for mine, I got about an average uh, 15 megabytes per second. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but it's somewhere around there in the ballpark. Um, but again, uh, this is a really nice way to stream music from your iDevice. Um, to your Xbox 360, PS3, or Windows Media Player, and um, it, you can just use this while you're playing like video games, if you're entertaining at a party, whatever you want to use it for, you can do that. You can go over to your friend's place, just connect it to the same home network or the same Wi-Fi or internet connection that you have uh, their Xbox or PS3 or whatever you have connected to, and you can just share your music. So um, yeah, this is I love it. I've been playing this with my video games for all, quite a while and again it's just a really nice way to stream music from your iDevice to your Xbox or PS3 or Windows Media Player. So again this is Air Music, it is four bucks in the App Store and it is a bit pricey but it offers great service. So uh, this has been Brett's iPod Help. If you like this app review, please hit the little subscribe button up top right there to see when I release a new video. And like it up because it does help me out a lot. And put some comments down below on what you think of this application. Does it work for you? Uh, is it a little slow? Whatever it is. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Tell me why. And just leave them down below. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a nice evening, day, morning, whatever. And uh, peace.